Hey, this is Shiraz. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I cleared for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. Yes, hi, I'm Mike. Um, I struggle with binge eating and chronic pain because of being overweight, and I've kind of made that my identity and kind of like, Give me an excuse not to participate in certain physical activities and stuff that my friends are doing because I physically can't do it. But it also gives me a chance to go home and isolate and overeat. So, okay. yeah. Okay. How long has this been around? Uh, I've been having food, food problems my whole life, but the wanting to isolate that started like in college i'm 40. okay the food problems when you say your your whole life like since you were like a baby or did three, start... or four, three or four four. okay what would happen if you well what would happen if you lost the weight um i wouldn't know how to live in a smaller body, I'd feel like, I don't know, I just feel like really small because I'm short. And I feel like, I don't know, people wouldn't take me seriously. People wouldn't see me. I don't know, physically, I don't know. Okay, but see, so you're giving all these reasons to keep the weight on, and they're just stories you've come up with. Yeah. So if you don't have the weight, but you know your value people are going to see you people are going to respect you people are going to come to you for for help or for uh just to be in your presence because when you have that that feeling of i have value people want to be around people that have value mm -hmm. so does this is interesting does the weight give you value um I don't find it gives me, I find it makes me kind of feel worthless. It doesn't really feel like I have much value from it. Um, it's interesting because that's not coming up true. Because well, we're talking about the unconscious versus the conscious. You may think some way on the conscious level, but your unconscious can have a completely different opinion. I think my unconscious conscious knows that some people like me for being overweight or they feel like we're the same so they can commiserate about weight problems i kind of want to be that for them and i don't want to be like this skinny i'll clean it up skinny jerk who you know they don't feel comfortable talking to about okay. certain things. so there's the story there if you lose the weight you'll become a jerk yeah i guess Okay, but that's, if you become a jerk when you lose the weight, that's you deciding, yeah, I, you know what, I'm going to become a jerk, rather yeah. than I'm still going to be a wonderful person, but I'll just have less weight. Yeah. So are you willing to step out of the story that if you lose the weight, you will become a jerk? Yes. <laughs> okay. Are, and this is where the value comes from. When you have the weight, you have value so you can commiserate with people and they can appreciate you. And you feel that if you lose the weight, you're going to lose that value. You can, it, there's, there's two things there. Number one is if you're hanging around with people that are talking about, uh, that are talking about the problems and complaining about the problems, you're hanging around with low frequency people and you're only going to get low frequency results, you're always going to feel bad. So sometimes you have to give up those friends to create a, a better results for yourself. And it doesn't mean you just dump them and say, I'm not going to be around you. I have friends that are, that are at low frequency. I just spend less time with them. But then I still hang out, have some fun with them. And then I go back to the people that are all about empowerment and uplifting and, and changing the world. And so 
I, I, I spend more time with those people. And when I'm with the people in low frequency, because I'm now at a higher frequency than when I used to hang out with them, we're all at the same frequency. They, some of them have reason to be inspired and follow along or do something similar to, to raise their frequency, but you can't be an inspiration to people if you're at the same level as them. Right. So are you willing to step out of the story that having these issues gives you value? Yes. <laughs> uh, just a little aside here. Chris, the reason your Zoom is going nuts is because when we're talking about things that your unconscious doesn't want to deal with, it will actually affect the Zoom connection and try to get you off the call or try to uh, cause problems so you can't hear what's going on. So that's what's happening. And I'm not sure if you're actually hearing this because it looks like you're frozen. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Are you willing to step out of the story that if you start to solve your problems and the people around you don't, that makes you a bad person? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit this from a slightly different angle. Are you willing to step out of the story that the healthier and more successful you become, the more you will be hated? Yes. <laughs> and I want you to look at this the same way I talked about Anya. When you become more and more successful, some people are just not going to like you, but a lot of people are going to get inspired by you, even if it's becoming successful in your health. Yeah. Okay. How does that feel? Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.